The, uh, the other thing in the area of safety is fire gear. What a big change there. We wore rubber three-quarter boots similar to what you'd use if you was going fishing. And uh, they came up just above your knee and you had a long coat to come down. Uh, it gave you, it kept you dry. That's about all they did. They, uh, they didn't keep you from getting burned uh, uh, and uh, they didn't protect you nearly as well as we have today. Uh, that was a, a big change. The uh, training. Uh, back then, uh, you were given a quick lesson on this is a fire hose and this is a nozzle. Uh, and you aim it towards the fire and pull the handle and water will come out. And, and that was uh, a lot of the initial training that people received. Uh, today, uh, that's been beefed up, but we have hours and hours of training. Uh, and uh, this has evolved around a couple of reasons. One, it makes, uh, makes us safer, but also it gives us a better chance of putting the fire out safely and, uh, and uh, quicker. We uh, <clears throat> change subjects here again. Uh, one of the big changes and one of the successful things we did back in uh, my early years is uh, myself and Don Clendenning were probably the leaders of starting a junior school out in the fire company. Uh, this is about the time my own son was uh, 15 years old, so it worked out real good. It was uh, uh, kids come in at age 15 and, and uh, could be in a junior organization until they were 18. We gave them the same training as the uh, regular firefighters were getting, uh, hours and hours of it, and uh, and actually they trained harder and they became more proficient at a lot of the skills in firefighting than the firefighters did. We set up competition between the juniors and the uh, uh, regular firefighters, and it was a, it was a lot of fun. They'd do things like uh, hook up portable pumps and hoses, and and uh, it was a, an event where whoever got hooked up first could uh, wet down the other group. So we had a lot of fun with that. The juniors are great for us. Uh, they gave us a lot of the members that are still in our organization today. Uh, 25 and 30 years later, they're still here, which is great. Uh, we, we found with the juniors, if you get them in there before they got girlfriends, bike, uh, automobiles, and got other habits, they would stay with us. That was the key, we thought, and it really did work for us. Uh, almost all the officers we have today in our company were members of that junior squad at one time or the other. So it really is a, a, a good builder. And it also gave them something to do that uh, kept them off the street and, and uh, helped them mature, helped them learn a little, little bit about life and what could happen real quick to them. So we're real proud of that. One, one of the greatest benefits of being in the fire company is uh, we, we become family. We take care of each other. We look out after each other. Uh, we may argue, we may not be social with us, some of the people some of the times, and, uh, but when someone needs help within the organization, look out, we're there. Everyone is there to help you. It's a, just a phenomenal family type thing. Uh, after the 9-11 uh, event, uh, we heard a lot about firefighters and, and uh, how they stick together, how they are family, and this is true. This is true. It doesn't take a major event for that. It can be anything as minor as uh, someone's wife or child being sick. Uh, the members are there to support them. We do what we can to help each other. It's a, it's a, a brother and sister type thing. Uh, speaking of brothers and sisters, uh, uh, that, that was 